actually what Jill mentioned are all of the schools that have participated in the um, National Business and Management Conference since we started. So it's not a very long list no, for those who are coming today. I think we have about 21 institutions represented uh, for, for this particular segment. So can we proceed uh, with my uh, PowerPoint presentation, please? So um, I wanted to tell you no, that uh, the NBMC is now in sixth year. Uh, we, when we started in San Carlos University about six years ago, we didn't think that it was going to be a big conference like this one. So can we go to the next slide, please? Uh, as you can see, uh, our uh, founding institutions are the LSL University and the University of uh, San Carlos. Initially, it was supposed to be an activity of the Philippine Academy of Management, but because there were some difficulties in terms of our organization, uh, the, the task of getting this uh, together was uh, was placed on my shoulder no, as the newly appointed director of the Center for Business Research and Development. And since then, uh, we have uh, done the uh, NBMC uh, together with other uh, partner institutions. Next slide, please. So, uh, well, in the second year, we were supposed to do it in San Bed uh, College, but because of a typhoon, uh, we had to do it here in, uh, in the La Salle University. The next uh, was done in St. Louis University. One of my doctoral students are, uh, is, uh, is here now. And then the, the next one we did in um, Ateneo, the Davao University. Okay, and then next, uh, it was done in Central People State University of Agriculture. We, uh, we partnered with these different universities partly because we have students uh, here in our doctoral program and then they wanted us to bring uh, the conference to their uh, universities because they wanted to uh, also enhance uh, the culture of research in their respective institutions. And for this year, we brought it back here in Manila and we're uh, proud to, to host the NBMC once again. Next, please. So uh, if you will take a look, uh, these are some of the goals that we have set for ourselves in when we started the NBMC six years ago. And what I would like to show you in the next few slides are the things that we have actually done uh, along these uh, different uh, objectives. Next, please. So uh, part of what we're doing at the conference is not really just to get people to present their papers. We thought that this was an excellent opportunity, but since we have a captive audience, to also introduce uh, business faculty from uh, from all over the country to different uh, to new methods, no? uh, whether uh, within the, the discipline itself or whether uh, we can use also methods that uh, are um, maybe more um, utilized, let's say, in the liberal arts or even in the technical and the technical disciplines. So these are some of our speakers. No? during the Davao, uh, Davao segment, and then the NAGA segment. See, Dr. Saria, my co-chair, was a speaker last, uh, the last time. Next, please. And then for this year, this afternoon, we will have uh, Dr. Largosa and Dr. Aromi, who will uh, speak this afternoon. So the, the learning session will be here in, this, uh, in the brochure. Next, please. So uh, as you can see, uh, these are some statistics about the NBMC. So we're proud to say that uh, we have almost 300 uh, papers that we, uh, we were able to solicit okay, from business faculty all over the country. Now this is significant because when we started the NBMC six years ago, there was no uh, conference on uh, business research here in the country. So we were really one of the first to actually do this and on a continuing basis. And you can see that uh, we have uh, really encouraged uh, a lot of people to submit their papers uh, to the conference. Next, please. But uh, you can see also uh, that so far, most of the participants are coming from uh, Metro Manila. And many of these are our doctoral students sa BBH or sa PhD programs namin. Uh. We're hoping that the, in the next few years, we will be able to get more participants from other uh, parts of the country. I don't know if this is indicative of the scholarship that is taking place uh, in, in, in the Philippines, but we're hoping that more and more people from other places will be able to do business research also. Next. 
And then uh, when we put together all of the papers during the past six years, you can see that the, the distribution of, of the paper presenters. Uh, so mostly again from uh, NCR. And then finally, next piece. Uh, we have about 52 institutions, yung mga binagin ni Chil kanina, ng mga schools na. And these are the top 10 schools in terms of in terms of the number of paper presenters. So many of them, not surprisingly, come from uh, the host institutions. Kasi syempre, we call it host na, kaya hindi naman kapag hindi mag-represent. So we're hoping that many more, uh, many more universities no, will be able to uh, contribute that. Uh, we're hoping actually that the share of the Rosal University and NCR will grow smaller. And that means that we are actually succeeding in our missions in MBMC. So help us, ma. help us uh, make uh, more people do business research. And then, next. So uh, many of these papers have actually also found their way in uh, different academic journals. I think we have about four or five papers that have found that were published in the question of business and economic reviews, focus context. And based on the suggestion of Dr. Tuliao uh, several years ago, uh, we decided to create our own journal, which is the Papa of e journal, uh, which uh, we have already launched. So this is the needed issue. And uh, the, the editor is Dr. Sarigal, she will talk about it later. We're hoping that we will be able to release the issue regularly on September and March. So twice a year. So for the doctoral students here, like uh, you have an, an avenue uh, where you can publish your papers also. Next. So um, I think uh, something that we were not able that we are not able to count, uh, but is equally important are the friendships and relationships that we were able to nurture over the years. And uh, as Dr. Tan uh, or Ms. Karai knows, actually the most productive researchers are those that do research with other people. So uh, the greater that we collaborate, the more we will be able to do research. But even if we're not able to do research, uh, the friendships alone, I think, are, uh, are uh, worth our time and uh, energy. So um, is there one more slide? OK, so that's it. Uh, thank you very much. And I hope that uh, we will have a productive uh, two days uh, for our conference. Thank you very much, everyone.